Welcome to the stream. Good day as all can make. Hope you guys are doing well. Doing another livery uh, stream tonight. This one shouldn't take as long. It's not the cars livery, so we don't have a lot of work to do. But for those, uh, since I finished this overnight, or basically this morning, not too long ago, I just got done. Um, I did some work on the on the cars livery. Um, did about maybe like an hour's worth of work. Not too bad. Wasn't that bad. Um, so we got Mater aligned, uh, which was it, it didn't really actually take all that long, but we did get we did get Mater aligned properly here because as you guys remember, he was a bit crooked on the tail. But you see, it's not really it's kind of hanging off a little bit the the toe, but that's all right. Um, we're happy with the way it looks now. Um, I mean that's not like true to the actual livery, but the only thing is if I if I want that to be true, I have to downscale uh, Mater, and that's going to take a while to reline everything. So I said screw it, I'm just going to leave it here. Um, so we got the Disney uh, Falls of Disneyland aligned. We got the uh, we got Mater all aligned and uh, good to go. 
Uh, we got Luigi down here all lined. He had this little piece here that it's higher. This little piece like down here at time. That took me the longest. That took me a very long time. Um, same on that side. Same on this side. This side was a little bit different because I had to. So this texture is like not aligned properly. So this was like, like over here. So in Photoshop, this is completely crooked. Like this is not aligned at all. So I did work with that, but it's aligned now. Looks good. Uh, same with Mater on this side, everything looks good. We got the doors uh, around the doors uh, marked. We got the windows all uh, painted all, uh, or um, showing out. And yeah, so this delivery is going to be up uh, tonight. I just need to do like maybe you know, two more tweaks or so. Not really major tweaks, but um, I got some things to do tonight. And uh, I just want to get the stream and the uh, next few liveries here done as, as much as I can or either at, at done. <laughs> But um, these are pretty basic liveries that are coming up, not really complicated like what we had here, but this livery will be up for download uh, probably within the next, well, probably like after the stream actually, this livery will be up for download along with the other ones if we finish. But the ones we are working on today is going to be the A320 and the 737 from IXCG, so the 737-300. That's going to be Avid Aviators live, um, uh, a livery, and then we're going to be making uh, Coca-Cola livery as requested. Um, for the IXCG 737. So we're gonna get on into Photoshop. We have some things pulled up, and I did some fishing with uh, with some stuff um, with A320, and I found out that with the cabin, uh, in the cabin there's that wall, the divider between first class and economy, and I found that you can actually paint your own logo here. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll put uh, probably Avid Aviator's logo. And then his name, Avid Aviator. Probably just a big logo of Avid Aviator's uh, logo there. But um, yeah, here you could like change the textures if you'd like, um, which we're not really gonna do because that's gonna be a lot of a lot of work. You can change like the texture of the of the panels, um, which I'll probably end up like messing around with in the future. See so if I can get that. Would be pretty cool if I could change that. Um, I'll probably experiment with that in the future. But we got our A320 parts all opened up and ready to go. Uh, pretty much here is some other things. There's some things that we don't need like this here. We don't really need Let's get rid of that Um, Sort of where the winglets are, but I don't think we we could do the winglets I don't know if they're on here. Yeah, they're there right there. Okay So yeah, um, we're gonna be working on this and then the coca-cola We're gonna be working on this on uh, avids first and then we're gonna be doing the coca-cola livery so we have all the logos and everything for that. So here is the A320 template, which is pretty nice about this one. Is it's it's much better than the much much better than the um, working with the 737 livery. You can see that there's all of these basically for like referencing and whatnot, and it's just kind of things to help you get everything aligned and whatnot. But we're not gonna be using those. We're of course we're gonna be making our own. So we're gonna make a new group, and this is gonna be. And name that just Avid, and then uh, we're gonna start painting all in here. So he requested all black, and uh, pretty simple, um, with some own with our own little uh, paints that we see fit and colors. Um, I was thinking of a few different designs. Um, I'm more of a, I kind of like the Alaska style, the new 2016 Alaska, how they have like the different colors kind of branching off from one, then kind of going to one. But we'll experiment uh, with what we think. Um, will be will be best. I kind of wanted to try to keep it to his original livery, so I was thinking of uh, doing something here. Uh, we'll we'll see what actually we'll see how it looks first of all. Um, yeah, I think it'll look pretty good, but we'll see we'll see what it looks like. All right. Um, so we're gonna get started with basically our main uh, template here, and we're gonna have the back end white. Well, I'm gonna try this. We're gonna have the back end white. And then we're gonna have the rest uh, black, and we're gonna try to keep it, keep it, I guess, uh, I guess like native to Avid's original uh, design on his other planes. And if we want, we could add extras, or if he wants extra, we'll we'll uh, we'll take in his request, of course, on on the live uh, stream here. Um, the dog picture works for, uh, work for you? Yes, it did. I got the dog picture. It should be in here somewhere. Let's see if I could find it here. I think I downloaded yeah right there so we're gonna have some space for uh, the dog uh, and then we're gonna have some space for the logo and the name and I I didn't find out what what 
what font it, I was trying to find out the closest font to uh, what the font he's using now it looks like it's close to Arial I think is what that yeah Arial um, if not then I could always just download one I already I have 1001 fonts open on my other monitor so we'll try to find a um, a logo or uh, the font that looks similar to his all right so with our blank layer here we're gonna go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff so it's not so cluttered um, we're just gonna get to the base layer so well yeah there we go all right and we're gonna pull up the um, 3d mesh so let me just see the uh, mesh here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna outline this 3d mesh and that way it makes uh, our life a lot easier on repainting this thing um, and uh, you guys will see exactly why so it's gonna take a little bit of time but uh, just outlining this thing basically uh, but like I said it makes life a lot easier making uh, liveries especially when a livery includes a 3d mesh like this it makes it a heck of a lot easier to outline it and get a feel for where all the points are so it doesn't have to be exact because again we don't we don't really have any extra layers out here that are going to be textured or anything. So we'll change this around. Yep. Those are just for like the cleanest results for both in Photoshop work and then just like of course on the livery as well. Just so that there's no textures and colors overlapping each other, such as like on wing butts and whatnot. We don't want that. That's not going to be very professional like. So what I'm going to kind of have is it's kind of hard to 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 like explain it. It's basically going to be like a cone, like not really like a cone shape. It's kind of like a funnel in the, on the tail end. I guess I did have that selected. And um, it's going to be white. The tail is going to be white. We're going to have the Avid logo black. We're going to try it out at least and we're going to see what it looks like. Like I said, we're going to try to keep it native, but also change it up a little bit. Just going to try some new uh, new designs and whatnot. Just experiment around with the design. All right, and then we should just be able to go straight across here. Oh, nope. Back up. The good thing with the 8320 is, that, again, it's just super easy to work with, unlike the default 737 or the Zebo Mod 737 livery template. It's difficult. It's quite difficult to work with that uh, template. Do that. Let's bring it on over. Uh, does that? Let's connect that a little better there. Pretty flush. Pretty nice and neat. And we got a donation. Happy day ever. Thank you for the donation, man. Very much appreciated for the five dollars. Extremely appreciated. Glad you are enjoying. It's pretty nice to actually see a livery be made. I remember. Back in the days of uh, basically doing that as well. Or, um, it was more like Forza though. I'd like request stuff and I love watching. I love painting stuff. I was a big Forza person back then. I wasn't good at painting <laughs> back then in Forza, but then again, it was Forza, so. Yeah. Zach Wachow, bro, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. Hopefully, you're doing well. There, that's perfect. Fine. All 
And we could just kind of be a little bit sloppy here. Still leave. off that up bends that's why it's doing yeah it does bend a little bit yep all the way up does that actually connect I think it does connect here. Ah, that's right. Again, we could be a little bit sloppy here. This one should be straight across. Yeah, that's fairly straight across. Is it hard to make liveries? Uh, it, it depends. It depends on the livery. Um, depends on if you have basic ones or if you have really difficult ones. And then also they're just really time consuming. That's really it. They're, they just take a lot of time. Um, I won't say it's difficult. When it comes to like custom shapes and stuff, yeah, that gets pretty difficult. Like on the cards livery that we did on the last stream, that one was, it wasn't, eh, I won't say it was difficult. It was just hard to get the shapes. Or is this really, it was really more of an obstacle just getting the shapes really. I wouldn't say it was difficult. But it took us some time to get to get the right shape. It took us some time to get the right colors. But that was more of an advanced livery. Um, again, when you're doing basic liveries, uh, like what we're doing basically today, um, it's not bad. It's really not that bad. It's just uh, learn, learn to use, uh, I'm using Photoshop, which is pay. Um, in the end, I use Photoshop a lot, so I think it's worth it. Um, uh, there's also GIMP. Uh, I think there's also... I wouldn't really recommend Microsoft Paint, but some people use Microsoft Paint, but I would not recommend it. Um, I think their the GIMP is for free, so you could definitely use GIMP um, to your advantage. And it basically has some... It has some basic... Uh, uh, sets as to like what Photoshop has but not as advanced you can't really get super advanced like what you can in Photoshop but for livery making you honestly don't have to get too advanced um, really just like what we're doing you could do it in GIMP I'm not very familiar with GIMP but I do know that you can uh, use pen tools and crop things out and whatnot but I just don't know how um, I think there's also like paint.net I think was also uh, was pointed out on Discord by Avid Aviator. I don't know how that how well that program is too. I've always used Photoshop and yeah. It looks like it now nah, doesn't it kind of curves. Let's go ahead and make that selection. We are finally done outlining that. Finally done. Alright, so 
Uh, we're going to paint it white. So the base, the base color is going to be, if I could get it to go to white. Uh, I just deleted that by accident, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right, that's all right. Um, I can't remember how to get that back. Not remember how to get that back. Oh, okay. Well then, let's go to the paint tool. I'm pretty sure there, brush tool. Um, I forgot how to do that. Anyways, go to menu that way, or view. Do it this way. I know it's in here. I'm not very. Fam I'm still not familiar with this new uh, with the with uh, uh, Photoshop CC. I've never really used this that much. I've actually just. I'm actually fairly new to it too. I'm still getting used to like the workspace or the the area the basically everything. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. All right, so we need to go to white. Um. Just do this there. All right, so we're gonna go to our new layer. Make sure we have our new layer selected, which we do. We're gonna paint this all in. All I need that large. That there is perfect. And it's not gonna show because you're gonna be able to see it. But if we disable the the original like 3D or not 3D mesh, the um background, you'll be able to we'll be able to see it better. Yeah, there we go. Let's make sure we have everything painted in. Let's make sure we have all of that painted in. I'll be off and on some Vin's family, so I, if I don't answer, that's why. No problem, Evan. Hopefully, I'll see you in a bit. And hopefully, to have your uh, delivery done as soon as possible. Oh, Billy, what's up? Welcome to stream. Glad you can make it. Hopefully, you are doing well. I think all that's filled in. I'd say so. I'm going to bring back up the 3D mesh, bring up the background. Okay, and now we got to start working on the uh, what we're going to do with the black. So, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean uh, by the funnel. So, uh, as what's true to Avid Aviator's uh, livery is it has the, the little line that goes through, the white line that goes through. And, um, yeah. We're gonna have the tail painted white. We're gonna give it a little bit of a different color. We're gonna try something else. We're gonna try something new. But um, we'll try to maybe add some more, some other things, some other aspects to it as well. Let's see. How's it going from your side? It is going great. I am doing great. Alright, so the way we are going to do is we're going to make a new layer. At above. And this one's going to be black. What we're going to do... Take our pen tool. We actually need to add our shadows back in because I can't really see... Uh, shadows. So we need to find out where the tail ends. So the tail should end about right here. So we're going to take the pen tool, we're going to bring it there. And we're going to kind of cone it. Come on. Oh, that's not what I want. To like down here. And it's just going to go like kind of a little bit low. About right there. Like right above the cargo door. Be good. And about, about midway, a little bit past midway. We want to add a new. There. It's going, this one's actually, we're actually going to redo that one. This one's going to be... basically like that. Down to the nose. Oh, there's a nose cone on this one. And yeah, nose cone shouldn't be that bad, actually, now that I look at it. It's going to it's gonna wrap around. So that's going to actually be, that's actually going to be pretty difficult to align, though. Because the nose cone is head-on. Well, we'll see. It shouldn't be that bad, but, um... And then we'll connect it. Uh, we'll connect it right there. Go and bring it up to the edge there. 
All right, and then we're gonna bring it, bring it down about there. We're gonna add a little bit of a uh, little bit of a like a squeeze effect here on the line to make it get thin. Make it thin there, and then we'll make it. That's where I have to bring it back a little bit. We'll make it kind of larger here. Maybe that won't work. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see what it we'll see what it looks like. Do you know of any big uh, new bigger planes coming next plane soon? Um, like big planes as in like seven fours. 3 or not 7 threes, uh, seven, uh, triple sevens, things like that? Or are you talking about like new big developers uh, making new planes? Because if you're talking about new bi uh, developers for X Plane, then uh, MD11, and there's there's a 787 coming out, but I don't know how good the quality is going to be on it. I don't know how the quality exactly will play out on that. We'll find out when it comes out. So, this is what I mean by kind of like a cone. Kind of set it like that, and then uh, we're just gonna set it kind of all wacky for now, and then we'll clean it up. Down, we'll make the selection. Then we're gonna invert it or inverse the uh, selection. We do have our uh, black selector. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take our brush tool. We're just gonna paint over like that. Now it looks bad. Looks bad. But what we're gonna do is that same that layer that we also made here. We're gonna select that. And this is gonna be a trial and error. We're not gonna really be 100% with this, but we'll see what happens. And um, let's go to the so an inverse that selection will erase oops will erase everything outside of it if I could erase it size right, and then that's basically what it's gonna look like I mean the lower half that is the upper half is not done yet so it's gonna be kind of like kind of like like kind of chunky thin a little bit chunky again and then a little bit thin there and it's going to come out into like a cone. And um, we of course will have our details on there. It actually doesn't look bad. I could probably change this up to be a little bit thin, a little bit more thin around there. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this out here. Just a little bit so we can see where the windows are. And uh, we're going to add in our texture. So I'm going to use Arial uh, font for this. I was going to go fancy. I was actually going to do something really fancy and do like a cursive. Then have the the little like fancy little endings of the cursive kind of go under and then along the plane. But I think we'll just keep it basic. Don't want to have it feel like it's too close. I think that is actually, that is actually the font. He just used uh, that. Okay, so that's actually good. We do have the font that he has. Oh, whoops. Okay, so we're gonna. Whoops. What did I just do? Is something up? No, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Oh, I hit my ru. I hit the ruler key. That's why. All right. We're gonna bring that down, and that's gonna sit roughly about door, a little bit over the door height. Let's see, we're gonna try to get it as true to his livery as we possibly can. Kind of flow into the line here. Aviator is in kind of like a, it's a smaller. Oh, it's all in caps though. Let's go and change it all in caps. And we are going to bring this to, right, let's try regular. I think regular is where it's going to be. Uh, narrow, I think, will be, uh, actually, narrow doesn't look that bad. 
Uh, we'll do regular. I think regular is actually where it's... Crap, I keep on doing that. We're going to scale it down. And... See, he has it kind of overlapping. Oh, I see what he, I see what they did with it. I see what they did. All right, so they bring it in, change that, and that's gonna be over that. We're gonna change this color to white. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go overlay. Okay, that's all right. We'll select that. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go white, so that's, uh, is that? That's not really, try that again. Are any of these, I can't tell if any of these are white or if they're kind of faded from a white, but I think that's good right there. Alright, so we'll go back to our black here, and we're gonna change the opacity on that to bring it up. And we'll just ignore that, of course, we're not gonna have that in the end, but... They need to make a 717 for, uh, for x -Plane. yeah. A 717 would be pretty interesting. Alright, we're gonna take Aviator. The same thing we did on that. We're just gonna double click it to select it. Is that white right there? Should be white right there. Alright, and then this kind of goes, this also goes into the livery as well. So, what we need to do is we probably need to change up our line a little bit there. Part that doesn't look bad and then I don't know where he wants the dog to be because I know he wanted the uh, his dog to be uh, somewhere on the sides he wanted him on both sides so I don't know maybe like here I don't like them near the front and I don't know what the scale I don't know if we want it big if we want it kind of smaller maybe behind the logo uh, in front near the uh, near the cockpit um, let's see, let's go to, uh, go ahead and add our assets in and everything. Let's go and get rid of 3D mesh here. Kind of get a feel for the livery. Okay. Uh, so that's basically what it's going to look like in Sim as well, along with the details. And of course, we're going to have normal maps and everything. Uh, so it'll look even better. Um... I'm actually going to do something here real quick as well. So let's go ahead and disable... Add the 3D mesh back in, and we'll disable... Disable that as well. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Take the pen tool real quick. We're going to kind of split these two apart from each other. gonna do this since we already have like the other half basically done we're gonna make that selection and we're just gonna have the bottom half for now so we're going to select and inverse the selection let's see erase to only erase this part just so that way we have the bottom half so that we know what it's gonna look like and we just mirror it that way it's be much easier okay um and what I kind of want to also try out is like some colors, like some gray colors kind of coming off the tail here. So we'll try that out and see what that looks like. See, what a, see if we can get a pretty cool effect here. So let's try going from like, say here. Kind of doing something like this. Change it up a little bit here to be fitting. Whoops.
Bring it up in a little bit here. Alright, let's go make the selection there. We're gonna make this a little bit to the gray side. Make sure we have our new layer. Select it. Add that in. Then be like a little gray set there. I think that'll look fairly, I think that'll look pretty cool. And then we'll kind of do the same for the bottom, but we'll change it to a different shade of gray. Go select and deselect. That's actually, I'm actually going to undo that real quick. There should be much, that looks much better already. Just changing that angle a little bit. Okay, let's try that. That uh, actually looks better. Better. Uh, so I change it to pencil. Pencil is can't do it from there. I have to do it from here. Let's see how pencil looks. Pencil. Okay, it's about the same. Alright, so uh, we're going to select these pixels here. Actually, not those pixels. Uh, these pixels. Actually, yeah, we'll be fine with that. So we're going to go it back into the pen tool and we're going to, once again, there. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the uh, black livery, so we're gonna bring it all the way across. And then we'll make that selection. Make sure we have that selected, there we go. And let's go inverse it. Whoops, oh, that's, that, that's not the right one. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing here. But we're gonna bring this one out a little bit more. We're gonna start from like back here. Bring it out here. See how that looks. Make a new layer. I'm gonna change this one to be a little bit lighter. Like right there. And yeah, that looks pretty good. We're gonna go deselect and we are going to change. Select these pixels there, inverse it, and we'll erase the extra. Whoops, uh, again, erase the extra there. All right, and then there is the start. That. Let's 
It's looking pretty good. Just gotta get to go flush with the uh, the writing here. I was thinking about making like, hmm, I was thinking about, I don't know. Never mind. I was thinking something, but I think that'll just clutter the plane up a little bit. Okay, um, we need to work on logo here, getting it flush. So uh, we're going to move the logo down a bit, or the uh, writing down, about where the R maybe sits. I don't think, I think that's a little bit too much right there. I'm gonna have to probably change my line here a little bit. Try moving it over, maybe. Yeah, the A sits really low, and that's not what I want. Specifically, the A on the aviator. So, we're gonna have to change the line to go. I don't like that. I think that's, yeah, that's part of the black. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna change this up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go select those pixels and we're gonna go black. Go to our brush tool, we're gonna reset this. So we'll reset from, let's see, we'll go, we'll reset from like right there. Let's see if we can make any progress with this. Alright, so the line's gonna too much, but that's alright. Line's gonna come across here. It's not, okay, that's the only problem we have. Bring it up a little bit better. up a little bit steeper here. So yeah, well, that'll work. Up here. Connect. There we go. Let's move this as we need and we're gonna move this down. Actually, and delete that point. I forgot to do that. This one, we're gonna make sure that it's gonna be flush with the aviator this time. And I have an arc down a little bit, it's like that. Connect it. Have it a little bit narrow here. Then we're gonna have it connect down to here. You get rid of the, you have to scoot that in a little bit more. Ok, 
Okay, we'll make that selection. That's, that's totally the same exact thing that I did before, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to undo that. We're going to not do the selection, but we are going to modify this one here. And that one. Click both? Yes, we can. All right, let's move it up. Click right there. Okay, let's make that selection. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so that looks actually pretty good. I kind of messed up on this one, but that's all right. We'll just go ahead and do this real quick. So we'll make a new layer. We'll just color it red just for a placeholder for now. Put that in red. Did that work? Thing. Why oh, didn't color all the way in? Oh, it's because of the text, that's why. I was like, why is it doing that? It's because of the text, that's why it's doing that. Like, is that a glitch or something? Did I mess up somewhere? That's, that's, that. it's because the text is in the way. Alright. So that's good. So we're going to make that, and, uh, just for a placeholder again, we're just not, not going to be permanent. Um, and we're going to go over to this here, and we're going to color this in black, so we're going to deselect that. Let's go ahead and undo that, and then we'll color this in. We gotta go. We gotta take this and merge it. Actually, you no. Know we'll just do that. We'll submerge these two. That should work. Okay, that did not work as I planned. I gotta move this up above. And enable it. That that's not good. That's not good. You find a new livery kit for the Zebo? No, um, I did not. We're gonna have to undo everything. All the way back to where we colored it all in. That's all right. It was uh, pretty simple, pretty basic, Z thing to do. Now let's do that. Let's go here. Oops. And paint it all in about there, and then we'll start from here. Have to restart, but that's all right. And we got that all painted in, so let's go ahead and continue on here. Start from that point there. To bring it through like that. Let's bring that in a little bit. Okay, we'll make the selection, and let's go to the eraser tool, let's color that in, let's go deselect, make sure that it's nice and flush, it's a little bit smaller.
Okay, that looks, that looks much better. Okay, so we have a kind of thick, kind of little, like, thick chunk there. And it goes a little bit skinnier, goes back to a little bit thick, and it goes back to a little bit skinny. We have it flaring off different colored, uh, different shades of gray, darker gray up there, lighter gray down here. Kind of, I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of like showing you guys another design, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to move stuff around. I'm not sure. We're gonna go to the text here and I'm gonna move those into place here. The avid aviator is in place. We need to do the logo here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to so yeah, we're gonna have to duplicate that. Let's hope that everything is selected. Let's go ahead and raster, uh, rasterize all of these. Need to make any more edits to them. Um, let's go ahead and select the pixels on that one. Disable that one for now. Actually, no, wait. We need to select these pixels and go to Avid Aviator. And we're going to erase everything out of there on that one. And we're going to inverse it. I don't need that airport. Skip the conversation, I don't care for it. Don't like my music, then what you here for? Stay up in the sky like I'm in the air force. Don't like the height, so little effect going here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this. I don't play around till they play out the chorus. Uh, we're going to change that to black. Still strum the chord like the guitar recorded. She only color overlay. We're going to change it to black. And you guys could see what it does. I think that's how he has it on his uh, on his livery, on his uh, original uh, other ones as well. But I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, let's see, let's see if I could. No, that's not how it is. That doesn't look bad either. It does not look that bad. Pretty looks pretty cool, I'd say. Not bad. Add in our details here. So my other design was to have two of these lines coming off of the tail here. So kind of forming like here and then coming down. And then having Avid on this line and then Aviator on the below line. I don't know how that would turn out. Let's undo. Uh, all right, so let's deselect. We'll have it like here, and having another line kind of going through. Ooh, I think I got a good idea. Hey, what's up? Welcome to stream. Glad you can make it. Hopefully, you're having a good day. So I think I'll do that. I think I'll make a line coming off here. I don't know. I don't know.
Hmm. Or should we change it up and kind of have it like this maybe? Doesn't really look that good there. I don't know. Some decisions to be made. So let's see if we could, uh. Go and get some of, uh, his stuff opened up here. Pretty good resolution. It's like here, let's see, we could probably add we wanted his dog on here. I don't exactly how know how he wants the placement. I don't know if he still wants the outline here. I think it actually doesn't look that bad having the outline. The outline's not too bad. something here. Let's, let's experiment with something here. So I do have his logo. If I could find it. <clears throat> I can't remember what it saved as. There we go. Okay, so we can get rid of this. So what I'm going to try here experiment with something. See if this looks good. Try that. They need to have it perfect fills you with determination and undertale reference. <laughs> yes, I do have to have everything perfect on this. Alright, so whoops, I keep on moving the wrong thing here. That first segment you missed. Uh, not really much. I'm just experimenting with some new things here. So I'm thinking about doing is having his logo kind of fitting right on the side of the plane here. I didn't want to. It's so laggy. I don't know why it's lagging. No idea why it's lagging. It's just just with some shapes. It's not his logos. It's just like. I think it's just my Photoshop is just lagging out right now. Scaling for me is super laggy. Okay, so, try getting this a little bit. Larger to scale there. Take that. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it to the rear of his delivery. Jets, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to make it kind of like a, like kind of just barely stand out. So let's go color overlay. Have the color just kind of barely stand out from the rest of it. And actually, you know what? Let's 
part of that. So it's going to overlap and it's not, it's going to show. That's a wee bit of a problem, but it's not a very large problem. So what we're going to do is we can just select these pixels and then we can uh, inverse it. I don't remember what video I subbed to you for. Um, I don't know either. I have the wrong one selected. There. It's fairly nice, actually. Got the logo there. This looks pretty cool. I actually do like that. It's pretty nice. I'm glad I did. Now, the back. I don't know if we should just leave that kind of basic, or maybe we should put the logo back there. No. Leave it up here in the front. It looks kind of cluttered up here, though. I'm going to undo that. We're going we're gonna to try something else here. We're going to try putting this in, like, the back. You know, that looks, it doesn't look that cluttered, but... See if there's a better spot for it back here. Maybe on the tail. No, because the tail's gonna cover that up. See the tail. Yeah, the tail. I uh, might not actually. A bit. See so what happens. See what it'll look like if we move it under the. Oh yeah, might work. That looks. See if we could change. Let's just change the color to like a light. Just barely stands out from white. It's barely kind of stands out. White. Probably barely, but about there. We'll drag it under the rest of the layers here. You know, that doesn't look bad. Doesn't look too bad. Bad. Alright. Um, I just gotta get the tail here. So the tail is gonna remain white. We're gonna we're gonna change the logo to um to black. So let's go to find his logo. There it is. We're gonna undo the erase that we did, erasing that we did. So Control C, Control V. There, there. We're gonna have to change it. It's really hard to see. Change this one to black. Ooh. Didn't say it didn't bring over the writing. That's all right. We'll go over there and do it again. Control A, Control C, Control V. Color on it. There we go. Got to get it to. Tigu there. can't see where the tail ends at all, so... I'm gonna take the pen tool and it'll kind of give us a rough outline. Oh wait, we have the... does the mesh cover this? It should. Yes, it does. Alright, cool, it does. We still have actually a bit more room to... This here. It was the forest campaign? Oh wow, that was a long time ago. That was a super long time ago. Pretty, that was a fun game though, I actually really enjoyed that game. Really good game. What can I do that? Oh, select, deselect, or not. Oh, it's because I have the, the I gotta delete the, well, I forgot I put that there. Delete path. Now we should be able to mess with it. 
There we go. Is Farm Sim worth it? I don't know, I've never played it. Not really big into Farm Sim, it's not really my type of game. I have friends that play it. They like they seem to like it, but I never really got into it. Let's try let's try something here through that. Let's, we're gonna try something here. Try something. Okay, let's um Let's rasterize those. And uh, we're going to select these pixels here, or, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to do something. We're going to put a line kind of through here, so let's try this. Let's do that. Make that selection. And we're gonna add like a gray. Connect the gray into there. Just like that, and then what we're gonna do is take Avid that. Oh, I put it through that by accident. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a new layer. There we go. Okay, so new layer. Cover that up. Select these pixels. There we go. And we're going to inverse it. Let's do that. Let's go eraser tool. I have the wrong one. Uh, is that to erase? It's this one. There we go. That'd be like a pretty cool little little uh, effect there. Should we keep it like that, or should we change it, or should we just keep it kind of clean? Should we do black like that? Let's go ahead and deselect so that we get the nice effect. I've only seen people uh, dick around in that game. In the forest? Oh yeah, we actually we actually played the campaign. It was actually pretty fun. Me and a few of our friends. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a really good game. I liked it. Really good game. Kind of like a light gray through it. Or we could do like a black. The black actually looks pretty cool. I actually do like the black. I actually do like the black on there. Black looks pretty cool. Then we'll send a connecting line to there. Make this one a little bit thinner. Make the selection the same thing so let's make sure it's in the layer yes it is and we'll paint that in and we'll kind of do the same thing let's go to select deselect I think the I think only the one line looks better the second line is kind of not really feeling the second line at all I think the first line actually does look pretty good though Yeah, I do like this. I do like that line going through like that. It looks pretty cool. I 
some edges there, the white edges there showing. We'll probably fix that. Actually, we'll go and just fix it now. Has to be perfect. Yeah, that looks much, much cleaner. Oh, we got rid of those uh, uh, those lines that we didn't need. Alright, and then, um, do like what we did before. Let's actually do this. Let's try this here. We're gonna try something here. So what he has in his, in his, in his other original livery is, um, is he has, uh, he has, um, like a shadow, like a hard shadow. Yeah, like a hard shadow kind of casting onto it, so. Um, drop shadow. And it's going to come from, like, directly that angle. Capacity is going to be all the way up. The distance is going to be zero. The spread is going to be zero. The size is going to be zero. going to actually change the distance. So he has it like that. That's uh, somewhat how he has it. Or it's kind of... Might have it kind of angled up a little bit something like that I think that's how it is but I think we're gonna we're gonna cancel that we're gonna try it the other way so we're gonna duplicate this layer and we are going to Select these pixels. We will use that, and we'll inverse it. That I'll have a cool little effect here. All right, so we're gonna change this color to black now, and it'll kind of look, oh, I think it'll look pretty cool. So let's change it. Color overlay. Make sure that it is black. And indeed that it is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that little leg that kind of pops out under the line there. We're gonna erase that. It's nice and clean. So like that, like Avid Aviator. So I think that looks pretty cool. Um, let's see if there's anything else that he had requested.
I think if there's anything else, but for the most part, I think we nailed everything. I think we got everything. Add a little bit different to his livery. Hopefully, he'll he'll like it. So it's a little bit of a little bit of a wobbly line here. I'm probably gonna change it up because here it gets a little bit weird. Like it's just kind of strange there. So I might change that up to where it's a little bit more cleaner on the angle line. I might change that up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change that up. Yeah, we're going to probably make some changes here uh, to the line because I'm not liking how it kind of, I don't like how it just, it's just, it just looks weird there. It's not clean with the rest of the livery, in my opinion. But we'll, we'll change that up and we'll make it look a bit better because, like I said, just, it's kind of bothering me. It's kind of bothering me. Um... Yeah, we'll we'll do that later. I was thinking, I was just sitting here thinking. I was like, I don't know if I want to do it right now. We'll do it later. Um. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that in later time. For now. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this done. So we're gonna go ahead and do it now, actually, because I am kind of bothering me a little bit. Just kind of looking at. I'm sorry. Just sitting here thinking. This is, this is all like the livery process. Is just sitting here thinking about some things. I might do. I might redo the uh, gray line as well, because that's a little bit a uh, little bit uneven. It's gonna find it now. I've just been handed an urgent and These maybe? News story. There it is right there. Okay, so it, do, it does kind of come flush down very nicely right there. And then the gray line is what messes it up. It kind of looks weird. So we're, we're going to fix the gray line later, but um, we're going to fix this line here. Because this, this black line is just, it's not that, it's not looking too purdy to me. Let's go and start it from here. We'll kind of bring it down if we. Uh, this may not be possible. I'm about to do some edits here. to make it go flush and then we'll make that selection and we're going to inverse it and we're going to e set the eraser tool to it it's not what I that's not it's going to change the scale there we go and we'll just kind of remove little bits and pieces of it so it's nice and clean a little bit smoother and we'll inverse it again to get inside I'm sure that is also pretty smooth and oh, like wrong color there we go Okay, 
Let's deselect that. You can see we have a little bit of problem here. You can see it kind of bulges out from what we just did. We'll fix that. Okay, that looks better. Now that line looks a bit better, now that we kind of uh, smooth out the top, the bottom actually doesn't look that bad. I actually probably clean up a little bit more, so let's go ahead and actually do that. But we'll kind of start from there, gradually bring it up. About that, just to kind of make it a little bit cleaner on that part. Make that selection, and we'll color it in black. Deselect, and that looks much better. So got a little bit of a, actually not bad, actually perfectly fine. Yeah, that looks good. So we cleaned that area up a little bit. Makes it look a bit cleaner, a little bit, a little bit smoother. Um, we also have the gray line to redo. Actually, wait, does that actually that actually looks no, that's not flush. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just actually redo this gray line. So uh, the bottom one is fine. It's just the top one is kind of it's a little bit off. We'll start by deleting that layer and we'll create a new one where it's gonna be. And we'll start it from like. Right there. Oh, kind of come out. Much flush with. It's kind of hard to make this do shape. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty decent right there. Looks like it'll come out nice and clean. Make that selection. Go back to the gray, make sure we're on our new layer, which we should be. Yep, alright, go and paint that in. We'll deselect. That looks much better, that's a little that's a bit cleaner there. More flush with the shape there, so that's pretty good. Are those the same color? Did I make those the same color? Hope not. I think I may have. Color did I do this? Look like that color. There we go. That's much better. Deselect, and that looks much much cleaner. All right. And I still don't know what he wants to do with uh, the dog, so I'm probably going to wait for him to give some feedback on where he would like, uh, if he would like the dog, uh, his dog in a special uh, placement. I don't want to have it slapped anywhere. 
wants it there. Maybe he wants it kind of here. Put it where the V is. <laughs> Let's see. I think that'll look kind of weird, but let's see. <laughs> let's just see what this looks like. Probably gonna look super weird. Yeah, that looks that looks super weird. No, that's not gonna work. I had a feeling it wasn't gonna work. All right. Um, so yeah, I don't know what he wants us to do with the dog yet. So we're gonna hold off on that until we could get some feedback from him on that. Um, it feels like it's kind of squished too, so we might have to move this all back. Yeah, it feels a bit squished. For the most part, actually looks really good though. It's really hard to see this goes. This kind of goes all the way down to the bottom, won't it? It goes right there. What the heck happened to the other layer? Oh, it's copying whatever's... Oh, it's copying the top layer. Okay, hold on. Didn't want that. Say, well, actually, no way. We could use this, actually. Select those pixels. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Just select these pixels here on the bottom half. Will that work? Oh, yeah, that will. Okay, that's perfect. That's what we need. Some sort of guide to align it. do is I'm going to create a new layer real quick. We're going to put it up above here. We're going to color it red. Just for, as like a guide for now. We're not going to actually have it obviously red. You do that. Bring it down. Actually do have to bring it under. That's alright. Whoops, I didn't want to bring it in there. Disable that. There we go. Make sure that we have that gap filled in. Yeah, you can see there we have a bit of a problem. Doesn't go all the way up to the. Well, yeah, it does. Okay, it's just the the line. Okay, that's alright. That's easy fix. So just go down here. Select those pixels. Actually, wait, it's not gonna work. But we do have workaround for that. Let's go. Here, I'm gonna turn our mesh on so we can see what we're aligning on. Yeah. 
and disable those real quick. Okay, it's right down the middle, so that's good. Let's go all the way over. And we'll make the selection. And we'll re-enable the front and the back. And the back. And we'll go to our gray layer where the line overlaps where it shouldn't be. We'll inverse it. Go to our eraser tool. Erase that. We'll do the same thing for the other side. I don't want to select pixels, whoops. Then we'll do inverse again, and we'll so you erase everything in that, and then that way it's flush. Just like that. Alright. And that is the, uh, the delivery. So the problem with that is actually um, we need to flip that around. So what we're going to do is we need to Okay, we're going to group these two together. Actually, we're going to duplicate them. Duplicate the layers. Bring it up. Uh, probably be nice to put it up here. There we go. And then let's rotate it 180 degrees. Sink it in. We'll disable. Have to, before we get rid of those, actually, let's go and do some leveling here. Level right there. Alright, and we will go ahead and actually remove these that we don't need. There. Actually, does not go all the way down into the. It's all right though. Uh, that's all right. Sink it down a little bit more. Whoops. Sink it down like. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Probably actually as good as we're going to get it right there. So why are those popping out, but they're not popping out here? Oh, there you are, Evan. So, how do you like this? Now, I'm thinking about. Okay, there. All right, it's good because I was actually about to remove the dog for temporary until he came back. So, with your dog, I think that's a little bit squished, but I don't know. It's up to you. Do you want it smaller? Do you want them larger? Do you want them placed differently? Do you want me to move the avid aviator down, or do you want me to keep it there? I'm trying to keep it original to like your livery, what your what your what your YouTuber, what your viewers are used to seeing you in. I'm keeping it like that, but I added a little change to the rear, as you can see. Let me turn off the 3D mesh here for you. So it's going to be nice and clean, basic, uh, black with your, with you know, with your iconic uh, little, I don't know what to call that, uh, stripe, and then it kind of branches out into the tail, and the tail is going to be white with the black aviator logo. So are there any changes here that you need, uh, like you know, if you want your dog to be bigger, if you want it to be smaller? Uh, if you want me to move the av Avid Aviator down, or keep it there, uh, what would you like? And I got your little logo here, uh, kind of in a faint color. But um, this is basically what I have done so far. And I was actually just working on getting this all aligned because this is kind of all wonky. Or it's aligning all weird and... Not lining 
as I want it to. But for the most part, everything's coming together quite nice. And I just have this, like, I, try, I experimented with this, like, little line going through Avid just to kind of give a little bit of a change, a little bit of a different effect for it. A little change there. I, I like it, but it's up to you. If the logo wasn't on the back, I'd say uh, do the dog on the back like how the Disney plane is, but I think with the logo there and him up front should be good. Uh, we could try that. Let's actually try Let's just see. Let's go and try to throw the uh, dog image like that. Uh, I gotta find out where it's at now. Okay, there's one. That's not the one that I want, though. It's in here somewhere. Okay, there he is. Okay, so we're gonna try... Oops. So I wanna drag that. Alright, there it is. Alright, so... You're missing the black part. Oh, I know. I know. Or we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a bit. But I'm just, I'm just doing other things here, so... See if we kind of have him kind of sitting. Let's go ahead and change him so he actually is his pixels update. Probably up. Oh, I keep on doing that. I always forget to do that. Let's see, you could do something. Why did it go to text mode? I put a text layer down. I don't want to put a text layer down. Square him there. Keep on forgetting about that. I always forget about that. Yeah, okay, probably do something like in the back here. A little bit smaller. there so also leave some space up here too so I actually do like this way too but also kind of like the avid uh, logo but then we have the tail so I mean it, it's not it's I mean it's gonna look pretty pretty cool either way let's see it actually would look cool with the logo as well you think with the logo in the background oh I see what you mean I see what you mean I did not think of that so let's kind of square him a little bit to the logo. Maybe make him a little bit smaller. Just a wee bit. Oh, that changed his tire. Let's kind of shrunk him a little bit. All right. Just a little bit smaller there. Hopefully he doesn't shrink. There we go. All right. Kind of have it like that. Do you like that? So we have it like that and we have it uh, over there as well. It's like that with the logo. That doesn't look bad. She does not look bad. Let's see if we kind of maybe tuck him away behind a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Oh, <laughs> that covers up. Yeah, we're not going to do that. It covers up a pretty good portion of it. Not going to do that. Let's have him sticking out. That's pretty good. Got to make sure we get the whole face in. It's so hard to picture it right now. You, you think that looks awesome? I think that looks good with the logo in the background. That actually does not look bad. It also adds in, it just makes it not look so cluttered in the front, like I kind of squeezed everything up forward with like the dogs, it's like, with the with your dog there, it's like, it looked like kind of squishing up there, and I was thinking about moving it back, but um, I like the Avid Aviator up near the front, it looks, it looks really cool like that, and it stays original to what your viewers are used to seeing, so I think that actually looks pretty cool. So we'll duplicate him, or is it a her? I can't remember if your dog is male or female. All right, let's transform and rotate 180. And let's see if we okay, cool. All right, so now we have to reference some points here real quick. Yeah, so it just kind of edges on that there. So that looks actually pretty good. Pretty even right there. 
Yeah, I love your uh, following along the lines of the other livery, and it's uh, and he's a boy. Okay, cool. I was like, I'm, I'm so used to calling dogs uh, him. I don't, I don't want to say him when it could be a when it could be a, a she <laughs> or her. All right. Um, that actually looks really good, though. But I think the oh the logo is gonna be backwards then. But that should be fine. That should, that should be fine. All right, we'll go and get rid of the one in the front too. Gotta get rid of that one. I'm not use that anymore. There we go. So that looks pretty good. I like that. All right. Let's go to here, and we're gonna change up this look. So, did I add in the extra layer? No, I did not. Okay, I did not copy it. Okay, so we need to make... We need to move that down and move that up, because I don't think that's flush at all. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna redo this uh, real quick. We're gonna redo this part here, just so we could get a better representation of this. Okay, that's the one that we want. That's the one that we want, and this should be... Alright, those are the four that we need right there. I don't think I copied all four last time. Alright, we're going to duplicate these. Bring them on up to the top. That's not the top that I wanted it to go to. Let's go up. There we go. Alright there. Alright, and we're going to mirror it, or just flip it 180. Down. Get nice and flush there, and then we'll move. Uh, does that, will that work? Oh yeah, that will work. Yeah, that should work. We're gonna move the avid part down a little bit more. Oh, something's wrong here. Something's wrong with the line, I think, but I don't know. Let's see. Nothing's wrong. It's the same exact, I mean, it's the same exact du uh, duplicated line, so it should be fine, but a bit of a problem here. So what we could do, we can also just kind of cheat a little bit and just add, like, an extension to the A, which I think we're going to do. Because it's basically even. It's the exact same. Or maybe not, actually. Oh, maybe not. But then again, it is being flipped on different sides, so that's what it could be as well, and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So... Let's see, the V is good, so as long as... Okay, no, it's actually not. I see it. I see it, I see it. Alright. I see it. So if we move it down... It's a little bit too much. So that's it right there. So that's where it sits on the other side. So they're pretty well even there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the A down a little bit to be flush with the line. And we're going to erase this extra little, these little pieces down here so that way it doesn't show. So let's make sure we get the right one here. Let's make sure we get all the way across. Alright. Then we'll go over here and we'll extend this down. Go to the pen tool to get this nice and even. Oh, like right there, maybe. Make that selection. Can't tell which one's white. I think that one's white. Okay, uh, let's deselect that and make sure that that is flush. That is nice and actually pretty. Uh, I'd say that's pretty flush. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, and then there we go. Problem solved with that, with the extra that gap that we had. So there we go. So we got Avid Aviator. That's going to show up properly. It's going to wait. Is it? Yeah, it will. It will. Um, 
So we got that. We got the logo done back here. Let's go and get the logo finished on the tail here. So I think the bottom one is the backwards one, but it's just like 180, I think. So is this a copy of the Zebo livery? No, this is not. This is not a copy of the Zebo livery. This is, uh, we added our own little, I guess our own little swirl to it. Um, I'm basing it off of that. Um, I'm basing it off of his original livery because I just, I, I like to... I just want him, because his fans are familiar with this type of livery, or the livery, oh, it's Jaden, actually. Um, so, the livery that you made in the past is basically what I want to base this one off of, and kind of just add a little swirl to it, add my own little, like, design, because I like to add my favorite thing for planes, I don't know why, but I find it so cool and attractive to planes to have little shadow kind of aspects to it, and then little lines cutting through and whatnot, but I am, I am purposely basing off, like, the Zebo, uh, what was made for him in the past, is that's what, uh, um, I like that livery. I personally love it. It's nice and simple, very minimalist, which is it just looks really good. And then I'm just adding my own swirl to the tail, basically. That's basically it. I only have the IXCG and Carl's on the back with some other stuff on the back end. Oh, okay. All right. So now the Avid Aviator, we need to flip that. I think it's 180. The way it works with jar, you flip it 180. Let me see, because there's examples here for that. So let's go and see if there's a logo that we could probably. Yeah, so I think you just know you you mirror it. I think. You find with like wording on it. I don't think there's one on here with wording. Maybe. So nope. The neo livery. Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it's just, it's just mirrored the other way. Okay, so that's pretty easy to do. Uh, where did I put the tail logo in? Oh, it's right. It's somewhere in here somewhere. I gotta find it. There it is right there. Perfect. We're gonna move this out. Pop that back up. And we're gonna add tail here. Pop that in there. We're gonna duplicate that. And we're gonna flip it 180. And it's going to be a little bit of actually a tight squeeze to get that. Or maybe not, actually. I was saying I just have to turn on the 3D mesh here to see things better. Oh, yeah, it is actually. Maybe it's a little bit of a squeeze. I just seem like it's... Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit off because of the way that the logo's tilted. So it's going to be a little bit different. This is the only thing about tails with like certain logos, especially like mine. You get you kind of run into issues like this. They are avoidable. I might just have to shrink the every oh. room. My dog is barking at something. I don't know what she heard. I'm a gator. It's a welcome stream. Oh, this is the this is one of the parts I hate is I want to keep the avid aviator logo like that like this But it's hard because There's issues like these Wait, I think I let me because I, I have it a little bit too high so I was gonna bring it down to where it's actually working with that so Because the logo will fit one way, but it cannot fit the other way unless we downscale which I don't want to do because it is at like a perfect scale right now and I actually really do like the scale so I'm gonna have to actually I'm gonna have to make it smaller there's really no other way I could really do anything here without having the logo cut off of the tail like that so yeah we're going to uh, change that I have to shrink it Just a little bit though. It looks so weird though. That shouldn't be too bad. 
shouldn't be too bad. Let's try it out. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this layer and then we'll flip it back 180. And you see it doesn't fit properly on this side, so that's like the only problem is just, oh, that's the wrong one I disabled. There we go. So now as we put it on like this side here, it doesn't really fit very flush with everything. I mean, that's alright, but it's going to seem like it's not. No, it should be fine. That should be fine, actually. Now that I think about it, it should be fine. I think that is pretty well even right there. Yeah, I think that was pretty well even. Pretty good. I was thinking about adding something on the tail though, like a like a de like a detail. But I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty nice. Just having the logo on there looks pretty nice. All right, we'll get ready to check it in game here in a bit. It's basically almost ready to go. Um, the only thing we really have is to just color this in black. Uh, this is just like where the gear uh, tucks in, or the, um, what's the under part? I can't remember what it was. Um, the engines, I think on the original livery, you guys had the engines painted. Yeah, engines black with the AV, with the Avid Aviator logo. Okay, we'll do that on these. Actually, no, wait, we can't do it on here. we got to do it on a different template. We'll do that here in a bit. So what I'm going to do is a little thing here. We're going to put uh, the logo here. This is what's going to show up in the plane. So... We're gonna put the logo and Avid Aviators um, stuff here, uh, logo and the uh, and the name. But I might actually just take this. I might actually take this because I actually do like how it uh, comes in like that. I like how it does the uh, white and then into black and then the little. I like that. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, let me find the thing here. I gotta find I gotta find it. It's in the front. Find the right version here. Okay. Take all of these. Well, oh no, wait, we can't. Oh no, we could just group them together, hopefully, and it'll work. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer and then I'm gonna merge it, and then we'll just delete it. And we don't ever really need it again. So control A, control C. Go to the salon salon? I don't know, it's weird. Alright, we'll go here. Put it. Try to get this nice and. But we can make this literally as large as we want because of the way that the uh, cabin works. But we gotta try to. I'm gonna try to center it as best I could here. We don't want it to be crooked inside the cabin. And then I'll clean this up. Um, actually, no, wait, we can't do that. We might have to fit it. We might have to bring it into pieces. Okay, let's let's do this instead. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's go back to the template here. Uh, let's undo what we did, and we're not gonna get the we're not gonna get the line that crosses. We'll just make another, or we'll bring that over separately. Okay, so we'll get that, that, and that. Duplicate those. We'll. Merge them together. Control A, Control C. Back into here, Control V. It's not what I wanted. All right, and then we'll make. That sit right there. And try to get it nice and even, nice and kind of centered as best we can. This is for the Zebo? No, this is not for the Zebo. This is for the A320. Alright. And then we'll get the line back in there. And then we'll actually make it transparent to show the background color. So we'll see how that looks in Sim. And um, hopefully soon we'll get in Sim. Just a few more changes and then we'll be ready to go into Sim. Go and delete that. Then we're going to bring in 
It will delete that for me. You select first, then delete. All right. So we're going to bring in the uh, black line here. Let's just go control A, control C. I don't know if it was full, is it? It's not full line. No, it's not, but that's all right. Um, So about right there is pretty, it's fairly accurate as to what it looks like. Oh wait, we gotta bring it up though, about like there, downscale it, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. We're gonna, we're gonna take a different route here. Um, let's take these two, duplicate these, merge them, control A, control C, control V. This will show up even better. This will give us a better representation. All right. It's kind of hard to see the close see if that's good almost there a little bit too large it's like a pixel too large to the right or to the right there a little bit more to the left now I think that's probably as good as we're gonna get it though I think that is as good as we're going to get right there. Alright, so now we're going to uh, do something here. We're going to follow this line here. So we're going to go to the crop tool. Go here. Got to outline this here. It's pretty accurate right there, I'd say. Uh, let's say about right there is pretty decent. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, go ahead and make the selection. And let's disable that. Let's go to this line or this layer here and we'll erase everything that. So that way the backdrop will have like a cut through. The cut will stay and everything it will it'll be all good to go. So let's go select and deselect that. We have that. So let's go and just actually erase or bring that off. And then we could actually put in the, so we can either like move this over and put the logo to the left, the logo to the right, or the logo behind it. That's just gonna be like the, the turbine. Um, let's go over, let's see if we could find it. Yep, right there, all right. We're gonna copy this, bring it over to there. And we could like maybe put this behind it. Looks fairly decent. Maybe pretty good. So we'll find out. Let's change the color on it. And should we try adding like an outline to it? Let's see if what happens if we add an outline to it. Or add a stroke. Obviously not that color. Let's add some definition to it. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Not too bad at all. Now we'll get, of course, we'll of course get rid of the back paint. Just use that for basically alignment. And that's our. That's gonna show on the on the uh, on the cabin, or in the cabin, right there. Yeah, hopefully that fits. If not, then we'll just have to scale it. It's not gonna be a problem. And then of course there's like other stuff we could edit, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna keep it as is.
Um, you can like do chairs and stuff. Which I'm gonna actually experiment later with this backdrop here. So this backdrop, I'm gonna try ex uh, uh, experimenting with that a little bit. Man, it looks so cool. You like that? Yeah, I think that's gonna look pretty cool. I think that's gonna look really cool. So we'll see how that looks in Sim. Um, so now we need to basically just do the engines and the engines are just gonna be black. And I think these are the only engines we have to do. I don't know about these engines. Let's see if, cause I know I have, um, I think I have a set for the A320 that I did the engines on. I'm not, not sure though. I don't really, I think I've only done actually one A320 livery. Okay, that one. Okay, so there's two. So there's, okay, there's that one. So the engines are actually pretty straightforward, so they're not that bad. Um, the color, there it is, main color. All right, so we're gonna change the color to black. Uh, let's color overlay. Black. Uh, it's not not showing. Okay, now it is. I don't know if that has to be on bottom or top or whatever, but I think it might. Go on, uh, get rid of the 3D mesh real quick. Oh, we have shadows. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So, okay, we could change the color of this. We could change the color. Uh, let's change it to black. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna be able to see the shadows, but that's all right. Just have them on there for, just in case of extra detail. Oh, paint here. Oh, we probably should have done that. Um, oh, well, that's all right. So we're gonna put the, uh, put the logo, put the Avid logo here. Uh, so we're gonna replace these. Yeah, logo, there. All right, so we're going to just add the logo as it is on the original. So we're going to take have an aviator logo here. Bring it. Where to go? Is that it? There it is right there. All right. So we'll scale it. We're gonna actually turn on 3D mesh here as well, so we can see a bit better. Turn that off. So we can see, or we'll just kind of actually do that there. Okay. Um, it's nice and visible. And is this one backwards or is that normal? That looks like yeah, that's normal. All right, and then we'll duplicate it. Same thing here. All right there. And we'll get rid of those logos. We'll bring that back up to 100%. And then there is our engines, basically. And then it's going to remove the 3D mesh. Carbon fiber engines. I You want carbon fiber engines? <laughs> I can actually do the texture on that. I can actually get a texture and do carbon fiber engines. I just find the texture for it. <laughs> actually, would look that would look pretty cool. That'll be pre that'll be something to look at. That'll be something to look at. You know, I was actually thinking. You actually kind of thought the same thing I was thinking, but instead, I was gonna put carbon fiber. I was gonna think about putting carbon fiber as the entire body. Like I was like, I'm really big into carbon fiber. I was gonna make the 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 color here instead of just black carbon fiber, but I was like, I'm gonna keep it original to the original livery. But if you want to request a second livery with carbon fiber, I could definitely do that as well. It's not a problem. Carbon fiber, let's see, we just gotta, I mean, we could try it out, we could try it out, we could definitely try it out, I just gotta find a good texture for it, so if you want, I could make a second livery that's carbon fiber, uh, you love the carbon fiber, I love carbon fiber too, you guys are carbon fiber guys too, <laughs> I love me some carbon fiber textures, it's so cool. The only, the only thing about carbon fiber on, like, just, like, trying to find it, or, like, 
With carbon fiber, just trying to find the textures for it. It's kind of hard to find some good quality textures. I think carbon fiber engines would be sweet. Yeah, I think so too. I think that would be amazing. We gotta find a really nice carbon fiber. Something that's not. Let's see. I kind of want to find one with like a little shine effect to it, but then also shine one, find one that's not too over edit, edited. Edit, edit, edited. That sounds so weird saying. That. I don't know why. That one's good, but that's a little bit too much. That one's actually pretty decent. Um, so just type in carbon fiber texture, how about that? I'll probably have a few unedited ones. Tail number should uh, should definitely end in AC, but maybe in N four three two AC. Uh, just let me know what you want your tail number to be, and I could definitely put that on. Just whatever you want your tail number to be, I'll put it on there. All right, so here we go. Here's some nice textures. Oh, that's actually a really good one, and the the quality is actually pretty decent too. What's the size that we have here? What is this? 2048 by 2048. We, we might be able to get away with this. It might be low res, but we'll experiment with it. Let's see. Let me download it real quick. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, it's actually... Oh, wow. That is actually really bad quality. That is pretty bad quality. <laughs> Let's find something else. Man, it's really hard to find a good carbon fiber texture. That is actually pretty good right there. I'm gonna, oh yeah, that's actually 1920 by 1080, so that's actually pretty good res. Let's take that one, and let's try opening up this one. See if this one's pretty good. It saved as again it was saved as like a number and then yeah there we go oh yeah that one's pretty good we have a splash screen up there or a, a, a watermark up there but we could get rid of that ah oh, crap um we're not gonna be using the entire thing so it's actually a pretty good fit that's gonna actually look pretty cool i can actually see it already Alright, so now we just need to line it with the engine, so, um, uh, I think I have an outline of these engines, because these engines are it's just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to outline them all over again. AC is good, stands for Avid Crew, and yes, 432 works, so a 432 th AC. Alright, cool, I will definitely put that on there. So yeah, I, I see this carbon these carbon fiber engines are actually gonna look pretty pretty damn cool. Um, I just need to find the uh, um, I think I had separated engines colors for the or engines for these. I can't quite remember. Which one was it? I think it was no it wasn't NV Air, I think was it the Pacific? Is it that? Did I color the engines on? I don't know if I colored the engines on this one or not. I, I don't think I did. No, I did not. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do the outlining, but that's that's all right. Both these are black. I don't want them to both be black. Change this one. We're gonna change this one to white. Let's see, and we'll turn on 3D mesh. Okay. These actually these engines aren't gonna be too bad to outline actually. Yeah, these engines aren't going to be too bad. Yeah, it would be pretty easy. Plus, they have, we have a lot of space in between, so we could just do a rough outline. It's a rough outline, and that should work perfectly fine. As clean as I like to be, but... 
I want to. I just want to see this in sim. I just want to see this like on the A320 because I could actually see these carbon fiber engines working out. Uh, let's make that selection and um, see what happens. Let's see where this goes. So we're gonna place the shine right in the middle. Whoops. probably should have moved it first before we selected um let's deselect and we should be able to yeah we could reselect so let's go move that right in the middle and let's kind of scale it down a little bit so it's a little bit the res the resolution is also still pretty good let's take that actually maybe we could do a little bit further because i want to try to get the dark edges in a little bit too because the dark edges is what kind of makes it look pretty pretty cool like right there Make it kind of shine on the logo a little bit. I have to move the logo over a little bit to make it kind of centered. Where do we put the logos at? Right there. Okay, so we're gonna move this over to be centered a little bit better. So like right about there is actually pretty centered. Like the idea of the carbon accent, I think the whole play may be a little bit much. Yeah, probably. I think there should be a black accent on the engine too. So like have like a little like like sliver going through or something like that. Like a little like a little uh, line, like a little stripe kind of coming through. If so, like what angle would you like it? Like would you like it to be at like a, kind of like a down angle from the? I think this is the rear of the engine. Pretty sure that's the rear of the engine, so it'll kind of like come down, or it can go from the front of the engine and down. Um, just a stripe, just a stripe. So kind of like how we did on the main fuselage, how it kind of like does a little like kind of like a little wobble type of deal thing. We could do that. We could do that. Definitely do that. Yeah, we could do that. That's pretty. That's easy. All right. Um, can I reselect? Hopefully, I can. Nope, cannot. All right, we're gonna have to re-outline. That's all right, though. All right, let's go ahead and do a re-outline real quick. Be a little bit sloppy, but that's all right. You're not gonna be able to see this part anyways. And we got a new donation. We'll check that here in a bit. Happy Hammer, thank you for another $5, man. Very much appreciated. Glad that you were enjoying the livery so far. Let's make that selection there. Let's back up. All we have to do is just erase the outside, and then it'll be pretty clean. So let's inverse it. Let's go to eraser tool. Scale that up. All right, so there's our first carbon fiber engine. That looks pretty. That looks pretty awesome. That does look pretty awesome, I must say. So let's go ahead and duplicate that, and we're just gonna bring these all over to the other engines. Let's go ahead and deselect as well. And this is kind of why I did it sloppy, just so that the whole entire engine kind of kind of fits in so that way we don't have to redo every single or trace every single engine all right let's go and uh, duplicate that and then we're gonna rotate it or flip it horizontally and that's gonna be a little bit of show but that's that's not gonna be on here once we a little bit I think that's pretty good yep there we go and let's duplicate it again Wowzers, that's nice. Yeah, that looks really nice, especially with the logo and all. It just looks, it looks really good. 
All right, so we need to align. So the, the all right, we okay. We gotta realign this here. So this one. He kind of gets kind of split right there, so that's actually pretty. That's pretty centered right there. Okay, um, so we got that. We'll do the accent. So like, how do we want the stripe to go through? Like, let's see. We'll kind of we'll we'll try. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. I like to do this. I don't know about you guys, but I love to do this for my planes. I, I'm just going to experiment with this, so... Because I like to do this. I don't know why. Again, it's just like... It's something that I like about it, but... We're going to go here. Alright, so... I can get this to bend properly. There we go. That's pretty good. Alright. So, I like to do... There we go. Flexing and holding shift. I like to do this with mine. Okay, let's make that selection. And we're going to put black here. So we're going to make the bottom part black. We're just going to see how this looks. This is just going to be like trial and error type of deal thing. Type of deal. Alright. Um, so black here. And then we'll slightly start getting gray. Like to a gray. So let's deselect, uh, deselect that. All right. Um. So let's start from here. We'll just actually, oh wait, that's gonna, yeah, I was gonna just bring that in. Kind of bend like that a little bit, and then we'll just kind of have it follow. And then we're going to add a lighter gray, so like a gray color. Oh, that's not what, oh, that's actually kind of what I wanted, but I gotta just put it under. And sort of like that, so. We could do something like that. We could do kind of like a that's or a white, but the logo is going to be blocked. That's the only problem. Is the logo is going to be uh, blocked here? Where am I at? Where, okay, I'm in the paint here. I just got to put it under. Logo's there. Okay. We can also uh, experiment with maybe putting like an outline on the so like add a stroke. Oh. Okay, so the stroke. Um, the stroke will kind of actually have it pop out, but let's see how that looks. It's not bad. It definitely pops out in the white, but... I won't even be able to get the flash until I come back from my trip. I'm going to go crazy. So we could do that with the, uh, with the outline there to kind of give it a little bit of pop out of there or we could change the white line that we just did to um let's go back to it here to uh is this the right one it's the logo um there or we could change it back to like a gray or a different color any other color so like there's the gray there and then the white. So it's like the gray, the white. Uh, we have like a lighter gray we could do. So it's like lighter gray there. Um, there's, let's see, that's a little, just a tad bit darker. Oh yeah, you like gray? You like this gray? It's like this gray or the dark gray? Like a few different dark gray? Dark gray, all right, let's do dark gray. All right. So let's take the um, let's go back to the logo there, and we could remove the we could remove the stroke now because that doesn't really add, it actually does add actually a little bit to it, but it's gonna make it uh, a little bit unreadable. Let's go and try add bevel and emboss. Oh, it gives it a little bit of pop. 
the Bevelin boss kind of gives a little pop, and I, I like to add these to some of my liveries actually, because it kind of gives it uh, some definition, some shine, makes it look like it's metallic in a sense. Uh, we can also just mess around with the size. Uh, I could change like the depth of it, so you see how it kind of adds like a shine to it. So it's pretty cool. You can like make it kind of rough, rough edge. You can kind of soften it up. So like that, where it kind of gives it like a little 3D effect, like off the engine. Or we could just have it flat white. Um, the one that I'm trying to drop shadow. I don't think the shadow is really, it's not really going to show too. Kind of does. Flat? Alright, yeah, we'll do flat. Yeah, I don't really like that on the engine anyways. I think it looks better flat. There we go. Yeah, I think we're good with that. Now we just got to bring these all over to the other end. So we're just, just going to go ahead and make our life easier and group these two together. Let's go ahead and deselect. So merge those two. And let's duplicate it. We'll add it to all the other engines. Did I? Okay, no, we're good. So bring it down. I think that's actually perfect. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good right there. Let's duplicate these two. Oh wait, we actually copied the logo over as well. Did we have the logo in the thing? I didn't want to do that. Oh, I accidentally merged the logo with the... I didn't want to do that. Okay, I just wanted to merge these two. That's all I wanted to merge. And let's duplicate it. And then bring it down. Let's do this for... Referencing. Actually, no, we, we can't do that for referencing. We just have to kind of wing it, in a sense. We're going to turn on 3D Mesh and see if we could use that for referencing. Okay, so it's like right... There. Nope. Yeah, right there. That matches pretty well. Alright. Let's go and duplicate these two. Over, we'll mirror them. And we'll try to do the same that like we did over there. That is actually pretty accurate. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty even. Oh wait, the bottom one is not though. That looks like it matches. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright. Those look pretty good. Let's go and turn off the 3D mesh. And that is our set, first set of engines. So now we do the other engines because I think they're they're like they're they are they are very weird on how it works, but um no, wait, I don't think we have to do these ones. I don't think so. I think we just have to do these ones. I think those are the only ones we have to do. I'm correct. Let's go and get ready for it in game, and we'll see what it looks like in sim. So, let's see. Uh, let's go and save these up at. Uh, there we go. I think these are the correct engines. If they're not, then we're going to have to repaint these ones. But that's right. I think we should be fine.
And make sure we have everything enabled here for shadowing and details and whatnot, which I think we do. Yeah. Looks like we got everything here. Yep. I think we need to, yeah, I think we might need to paint over that line here real quick, just to, just to get, get that. So we'll take this layer here. Oops. Just in case if this line pops up, which it will sometimes, it, it will pop up. I've had it pop up in one of my liveries, so let's make sure that we color it in. Just in case so we don't have to come back to this part again. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Yep, that covers it. Alright, let's get it into Sim and we'll check out uh, what it looks like. Make sure we have everything aligned. See overall how it looks. Oh, we got to disable the 3D mesh before we do anything else. So that way we don't have the 3D mesh showing up. We got the 3D mesh off that, right? Yes, we do. We don't need the wing. We got this uh, the cabin, so let's go and save this. Don't forget the N432 AC. Oh yeah, we gotta do that, you're right. Thank you for that reminder. Um, let's go and save this up real quick and then we'll do that. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, and um, what we'll do Turn back on the 3D mesh here so we can see the windows. And we'll open up one of the liveries that I've done just so that I can just copy and paste and then change the text. That's all I have to do. was the Pacific. We'll do MV Air. That one's, yeah. Take the fuselage. Uh, that's okay. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Alright, and then uh, we'll just take these. I think these, these shouldn't be grouped. I think they might actually be grouped. That's alright. We'll just erase. Need to. That's just a matter of finding out which one it is. It's above, so it has to be one of these ones up here. I think it's like at the very top. There it is, all right. We'll take this. Then we'll change the number, of course. Where'd it go? There it is. Alright. So, we'll put that about there. Let's go and disable the, um... Is that the... Okay, that was there. Alright, so we're going to move this up and over that real quick. And then we're just going to disable that for a quick second here so we can line everything. Put that there. Put the number. I don't know what font or not font. What size scale that is? Already still pretty large. All right. So it's gonna be November four three two AC. And we'll scale that down. It's so laggy. I don't know why it's lagging. I think it's just because I had Photoshop open for like hours on end. Well, it wasn't like this yesterday, so I don't know. I don't know why it's so laggy. 
Also could be because I have my X-Plane running in the background too, that's probably the cause of it is. Jeez. I don't know why SA wasn't doing this. Take that, and then we'll go to the flag here. We'll just erase the text. That way we have your number. Alright, let's go ahead and merge those two. It will let me. That's a good This one here. There we go. And let's duplicate that. And we're going to disable the top part now so we can align this. And we'll rotate this. Oh, we're actually going to... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to rotate it. 80 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to have to do a duplicate, uh, duplicated layer there. We're gonna make a backup.